Russia says it will make sure there's an investigation into the burial sites in eastern Ukraine where unidentified bodies have been discovered. The first evidence confirms that they were civilians, shot dead at point-blank range and possibly abused before that. We are greatly concerned by this. We cannot accuse anyone before there has been an investigation, but we will push to ensure that an independent investigation is conducted so that this doesn't become yet another case where the culprits are let off or the probe stalls. I am referring to the Maidan sniper attacks, the tragedies in Odessa and Mariupol, the Malaysian Boeing and many others. And as the ceasefire in Ukraine enters its fourth week, locals are looking for loved ones lost during the military operation. Uh, for some, even simply just saying their last goodbyes is proving a daunting task, as Artie's Maria Fanoshina now reports. There are men here, but mostly women. The majority born before the Second World War. Grandfathers and grandmothers, those who didn't flee when Lugansk was shelled and who will now rest in peace here. This is a very special cemetery. Local authorities decided to bury victims of what Kiev launched as its anti-terror operation here in eastern Ukraine on this piece of land outside Lugansk. There are more than 100 bodies buried here already, but not all of them have their names. Many still remain unidentified. These corpses are simply given numbers and whether they are male or female. But sometimes these unknown bodies get back their identities. Svetlana, not her real name, had been looking for her husband for a month, hoping he was still alive. He left home to get some of the aid recently delivered to the region, but never returned. Her efforts brought the woman to this cemetery, where she discovered the grim news. I still don't know what happened, and I don't think I will ever know how or why my husband died. I blame it on the war. Svetlana decides to return her husband's body to their village to be buried next to other family members, something the relatives of those buried here can do. They buried all the bodies. They simply couldn't store them anymore. They didn't manage to find all the relatives. My husband was among the dead. Now they have let me give him proper burial. She asks us to change her name and not show her face. Her children, who fled to Russia when it became too dangerous to stay, don't yet know about their loss and Svetlana doesn't want them to hear it from TV news. Svetlana identified her husband by pictures from a database of Lugansk main morgue. There are still about 20 unknown bodies here. Anatoly, the morgue's head, says their relatives could still be outside the city or country. Despite a three-week ceasefire, many people are still afraid to come back. We will bury them all on the Republic's budget and wait for relatives of friends to come, and maybe they'll identify them later, but maybe not. When these bodies are committed to the earth, all the war's victims from Lugansk will have been buried. And everybody here hopes the truce will hold, and these will be the last. Marie Fnoshnati in Lugansk, eastern Ukraine.